have studied in fluid dynamics, that is Navier-Stokes equation fluid dynamics, the Navier-Stokes equation, the solution of Navier-Stokes equation, and we have applied for a real life problem, that is a coet flow. Similar to that, now we will consider a flow through a pipe in which we are going to solve the differential equation, rather we are going to substitute the boundary conditions for a flow through a pipe. So, let us study what is Hagen Poschelet flow. Le flow. So, in this, what we have to know is that there is a fluid flow through a pipe. So, this is the bottom surface of the pipe. This will be the top surface of the pipe and the fluid is flowing through the pipe. So now we already know what is solution of Navier-Stokes equation that is u is equals to 1 upon 2 mu dp by dx into y square plus y times c1 plus c2. So now the boundary conditions over here will be equals to y is equals to 0 c uh, y is equals to 0 u is equals to 0 and y is equals to h u is also equals to 0 so that means the fluid at the top surface and the bottom surface is 0 applying this boundary condition in this equation we have to solve the equation we have to solve this equation and find out how this change in velocity will look like so let us solve this so first boundary condition is y is equals to 0, c is equals to 0. Equation is u is equals to 1 upon 2 mu dp by dx into y square plus c1 y plus c2. Substituting this part will give us c2 is equals to 0. This part, this part and this part that is y, uh, the terms of y and u will be 0. So next we will substitute the next boundary condition. Before that, our equation has been cut down to u is equals to 1 upon 2 mu, that is dp by dx into y square plus c1 times y, c2 is 0. This is now the new equation in which we have to substitute the boundary condition. When y is equals to h, u is also equals to 0. So that means over here u is a 0 when y is equals to h. So when we substitute over here, what do we get? This part as 0, 1 upon 2 mu uh, dp by dx into h square plus c1 times h. So we'll take this on the other side h h will go away so what we'll get over here c1 will be equals to minus 1 upon 2 mu dp by dx into h so let us substitute in the original equation which is over here so u will be equals to 1 upon 2 mu dp by dx into y square minus 1 upon 2 mu dp by dx into h. Let us take, so this is 1 upon 2 mu uh, dou p by 2x into y. So now we have substituted this in this equation. Now the, this equation will become, let us take 1 upon 2 mu dou p by 2x as common. So u will be equals to 1 upon 2 mu dou p by dou x as common. And inside the bracket, this will be y square minus h times y. So we have substitute, substituted over here. So here we have got y as a function of uh, u as a function of y. And the curve which will it make will be a second degree curve. So that means this is the top surface of the fluid. Uh, this is the bottom surface of the fluid. And these both surfaces are at rest since it is contact with the solid surface. At y is equals to 0, u is equals to 0. At y is equals to h, u is equals to 0. And the path followed by this curve will be traced like this. So this will be a parabolic curve. Initially, the velocity increases at the 
sent or it is maximum and gradually it decreases gradually it decreases so hence this is actually the curve which will be traced by this equation so i hope you have understood how to evaluate i hope you have understood how to use solution of navier stokes equation and apply for a pipe for a pipe flow in which the fluid is flowing for a pipe flow we know that at the two surfaces at the top and the bottom surface the velocity will be zero and the velocity will be maximum at the center thank you